Hello friends, this is Jason here with another quick Studio One tip. This will work in virtually any DAW and it's inserting and sending effects. The idea, I just have three MIDI tracks here. This is something I've been playing around with for a while. This is uh, not composed by me. I did add the drum part to it. Very simple. This is good old Johann Sebastian Bach. And let me play a little bit for you. because I think that Bach rocks. So I'm gonna to go to the mix window. There are other places to do this. Those channel faders can actually show up here in the inspector view as well. Some DAWs are set up so this is just open. Please know that as I click on each one of these, there is my channel faders as well and my inserts are right there. Where's my sins? Well, if I take this and pull up high enough, <laughs> there we go, I could see my sins right here. Okay, so your inserts and your sins. That is for each channel. But if I go to the mix window, I make it tall like this. I'm going to turn off that view. If I make them tall over here, sometimes it's still not big enough. I can actually detach this and put it on another screen. And I highly recommend people do that. But I like to look at this just like I look at a live mixer. Now, I'm, I'm really going high here, but I also want to pull my sins up and if you can't see the sins they're way down in there you need to uh here i'll put them down there if they're not showing up if that's all you see unfortunately they're they're there but you got to find click hold and drag them up and there's actually another level of um whoop if i can grab a hold of them there Oh, that's right. I don't have anything set up yet. So here they are. If, if this was there, they're gone. So I'm going to pull it back up. These are my inputs and I have virtual instruments on here. And then I have them all sending to my um, uh, channels one and two on my interface two track return. So uh, you can, you can, depending on what you have, route that to your main. Most of you might say just main over here. To insert a plugin, you just go to insert. There's a plus sign here. I don't like to work in the small mode or the skinny mode or the short mode. If you do work in the short mode, it's down here, these little buttons here. Um, for me, I'm just used to working like I would in a, in a live situation. So ins inserts, and I would go to, say, Personas, for example. And one thing that EQ... Uh, the channel strip is is very common, especially on a lot of live mixers, but also on a lot of DAWs. And it, it is basically a um, uh, there's a low cut right there, and there uh, is a compressor in fast, medium, or slow mode with an expander. You could turn them on if you want, percentage wise there, and. It, then you have a few bands to work with, low, mids, highs, and some gain. So you could decide what frequencies. Th those are great to put on tracks. Now to copy them, you can just click and drag and drop. Some DAWs, you have to hold a button to do that. But the point, the point is this. Um, those are all inserts, meaning they're only happening on those channels. So whatever that channel is doing here, so here I have one of my drums, okay? And say, well, I don't want to put a low cut, but I might want to try a little bit of compression. I can hear what it does. Okay. And if you solo it, you can really hear. Ooh, the slow really lets it punch through. Okay, so that's just a little bit of compression. Of course, if I wanted to do a low cut, which I probably don't, there we go. I just got rid of the kick drum for the most part. You know, that's not great, but, um, or maybe I need to boost the kick. Ooh, yeah, how about that? So that is a little bit of a channel strip, and there are, there are great ones. The, the free version of Studio One comes with this channel strip. Now, the other thing that sometimes people will use is a send. And there's, again, all kinds of insert effects. As you see, I have all kinds of different ones. Here's all the ones that are part of Personas, but there's third-party ones as well. To use a third-party plugin, you do have to often have the professional version of a DAW. Now we are on sins. 
for sins. What does that mean? Well, it means I'm going to send a portion or this signal of this channel to another channel, and I'm going to right-click right here. And I'm going to add an effects channel. Now, an effects channel is just that. If I want to send some of my channels, so say I want to send just a little bit of each of my channels to the effects channel. I could say send, okay, on each one right there. Uh, I'm just adding this in. Now, I don't have to send them, but for space, for space, it's very common, especially using a live mixing board, to put a little reverb on there, room reverb. I think mix verb is the one that comes uh, as part of Studio One Prime. And if you click in here, please know that uh, there's all kinds of different types of uh, verbs <laughs> going on here. Say I choose, I don't know, recital hall. It's fine. So uh, I make sure my mix, of course, over here is all the way, which it is, okay? And this is pre-delay, size, play with the knobs, of course. And what you're doing is this. Once you've inserted what you want on here, then each one of these will send to it. Now, I'm going to what's called solo safe this, which is um, I'm going to hit shift S. That way, it, when I would solo here, it would bypass that. Now, you might not want that. It's up to you. Um, finally, uh, on each of these channels, this one says uh, pre-fader on or off. All, all of these are set post-fader, meaning whatever happens down here, it's going to affect how much of that channel is sent. Well, I actually usually will use these pre-fader because I may have automation and other stuff going on down below here on my channel faders. So if that's the case, then I decide how much. So sin level, you know, I start around negative 10, negative 12, gain staging wise. And same thing here, negative 10, negative 12. Now, with that being said, um, you do what's right for you. There's also, it's kind of hidden here. I wish it wasn't, but a little pan knob. You can just send to the left side uh, of, uh, to the effects just on the left side. So the left side of this channel uh, or the right side or whatever. So um, there's times when you want to do that. All right, so these are all sending. They're sending here to the effects channel. And then I just, I play around with it and decide what I want. There's all kinds of rules that people try. It's good to start with the basics. But you also got to do what sounds good to your ears. Now, last but not least, oftentimes these effects channels get really hot real fast. It's not a bad idea to trim them a little bit. So start maybe at negative 5, negative 10, and you can blend them in. So this is the wet channel right here. You're putting them in a recital hall, and you can always bring that out. So actually one effect I hear a lot these days is people start kind of dry at the beginning of a piece and then as the piece opens up and gets bigger to head into the chorus, you hear the reverb slowly kick in and I believe they're automating that reverb to make it sound bigger like it's entered into a bigger space. And that's just a little trick as well. You think automate, well here I'll do it real quick. I'm going to click on this channel fader. Anything I click on can be automated. So I click on this effects fader. And let's say I want to start it at, I'm terrible with the mouse, so negative 10, okay? I'm going to hit the A right here. What that does, it actually creates a lane right here. And at, I could start clicking little nodes in here or changes. And I could over slowly over time, and let me make this uh, track a lot bigger than the others. Yeah, there we go. So I could actually go from here where there's not much... Watch this fader. There it goes. See how it's sliding up. Yeah. And that would be how to add all the instruments into a reverb. And you can automate everything. So how much or how little of each instrument goes into it. And uh, that's just a little trick. So that is inserts and sends. Those are effects, and they are a lot of fun. If you would like to uh, see more types of videos like this, please hit like and subscribe, and uh, go check out our website. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you're interested in learning. Thank you so much. Go make some music.